out. We got this little mini radio controlled motorbike. Got carbon fiber chassis, brushless motor, belt drive, alloy wheels. Obviously we've got to paint the body. Look at that, it's got one of these single arms. Oh, check that out, guys. Here we've got some sort of a slipper clutch. You can tighten it up to slip or to lock it up. Steering servo there and no idea how it's supposed to work. So we need to fit a receiver and a speed controller and a battery. And then we can take it out for a rip. So here we have some specifications and more specifications. But I'm not going to bore you with all that. So I'm just going to put a link down below. We can get one from and we can get all that techno babble from. Check this out, guys. This is a build your own model kit of Valentino Rossi's Yamaha YZR motorbike. So I got this from Diagostini, sponsor of today's video. So how it works, it's a monthly subscription service. So you subscribe and then you receive monthly shipments directly to your door. So over the next few months, you're going to build your very own Yamaha motorbike. Check out the size of it. It's 54 centimeters long. That is one fourth scale. Check out the size of just one of the tires. Diagostini also do all these other model kits. Hits, like the GT, Volkswagen Camper, and a Lamborghini Countach. For all the details, head over to diagostini.com and if you use promo code TALBERT, you'll also get some free gifts, like a notepad, mugs, cap, t-shirt, display case, and a Bluetooth speaker if you check out with PayPal. So with every monthly subscription, you get your parts and a magazine where it shows you how to assemble your very own motorbike. Just check out some of the details. So click the link down in the description box and all the details are going to be right there. So first of all let's start off by chucking a bit of paint on the body and the rider. So I think these things here are just little stabilizers in case it falls over it's going to stop it from smashing up all the body panels. Somehow that is supposed to drive on two wheels. No idea how. In a bit we're going to find out. Next let's go to Redfin Models and see if he's got any electronics to make this thing work. Ooh, here we are, Redfin Models. Hello. Did you make it work? God, I've seen these advertised. Don't laugh at my paint job. Oh, man, that looks awesome. It needs ESC, okay. receiver, and battery. We have printed out some instructions. Got oil field shocks on the front and on the back one, look. Oh, why do you show me things I've worn? <laughs> <laughs> so the receiver's supposed to go there, ESC there, and the battery is supposed to go underneath. So these are the parts that are hopefully gonna fit in there. Not quite the parts what they say in there, so they might fit, they might not. Fingers crossed. Right, get him in, get him in, get him in, boy. Ooh. So he's got the receiver with the case off and still enough room for the battery. Ish. Ish. <laughs> Ish. All right, we come back to that in a minute. All right, change of plan. So now the cover's going back on the receiver, and hopefully the receiver's going to fit on the back here in that bit, maybe. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm thinking if that was to go like that, because of the shape of the driver's uh, derriere there, I suspect that that will fit in there. Maybe. 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 While the big shopkeeper is sorting out the motorbike, the little shopkeeper is sorting out the radio. What are you doing, mate? I'm naming it before you. And binding it. Uh, I, I don't know how to do that. Oh, a few more moments later, we have an expert in the house that's just got it working. We got steering. Yeah. Probably need to glue that tire on though, look. Ooh, that's got some power. <laughs> Look at that. So we got a little Fury tech speed controller there, receiver up there, battery's gonna, is that gonna fit in there? Yeah, that'll go on the underside like that. Isn't that nice? Well done, get the body on there. <laughs> Boom! Steering and... All right, go for here it, we go. Steady. If any of you guys want to check out Redfin models, then that is where you got to come. All right, here we are on this location, and we've got a professional motorbike pilot. Oh, great. There you go, mate. I think you need to learn how to drive these things. They're not, yeah. like, a, they're not like a car, they're completely different. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh. Give it here, how hard can it be? <laughs> oh no, it's very hard. Oh, oh. oh. The expert. Give it to Dave. Uh, yeah. put the steering arrangement on it. The professionals are hard at work. So Dave has just made the steering a little bit more floppy, so that's made it go a bit better. Next, Jason's putting on some tyre tape. Yeah, yeah pretty much. It's supposed to give it more grip. So you wipe it all the way around like that. Off, and then do it again. You find loads of black crud will come off now. Oh yeah, oh, no. now again. That should give us a bit more stick, hopefully. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. Alright, next location. We've got a little bit of space now, which apparently is what we need. Next location, <laughs> cut, smooth surface. We don't work on, God knows. Right, here we go, ready? Hey, that's it, go down the throttle, you got to steer it. Hey. Yeah. That's so cool. Hang on, hang on. That's it. All right, body's on, let's give it a rip. We would do it in the daytime, however, we're not gonna have any daytime on this car park until the summer with no one here. So we're gonna have to try and film it in the dark. So you try and drive it. Guys, it's gonna be virtually impossible to get you guys some good shots. This is like the only place we can find that's got a smooth car park. I know it's just a dock going around and none of us can drive it. This is Vinny's first time, don't floor it. <laughs> give it up back, man, we're gonna destroy it. We need some footage. <laughs> what did you do anything? Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> At least you're having a laugh. Smiling. Yeah. Well, you can ride motorbikes. I'm not going to be able to do it. Right. <laughs> We're good drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Next location, so we can't do it on this sort of surface, it doesn't work. On road, we can't really get it to work. Now we've got carpet. Yeah. Right, Vinny's go. Next, we're gonna put the carpet away, then we're gonna give it another go. All right, so the carpet has gone. I suck. Comment down below. Oh, Mike's got a drifter. Me and Minnie have both got a drifter coming, actually. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not an expert with these. I haven't got a clue how you set them up. All I know is that none of us can drive it. So here, I've got a more beginner-friendly motorbike. We're going to take this out for a rip in a minute to see how well this does. So this one here is kind of aimed probably at more like the higher-end market. There's no driver aids. It's all down to driver skill, and we definitely need to find a more smoother and bigger location to run it in. This one here, it's got a flywheel that spins around in the back wheel, and that helps stabilise it. Also, with it being bigger, it's going to absorb the bumps better and give a beginner like me a better chance of riding it. Right, let's plug it in. And then somewhere, there's got to be an on switch. About three years ago when I last played with this, so, oh, there we go. Getting ready for liftoff. Man, you can feel the gyro working. Look, whoa, this is weird. It's like trying to turn the bike like that. It's just doing funky stuff. Oh, 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 oh. We need more space. Let's get it out in the real world. Right, so here we got a GPS. How fast cameraman reckon it's gonna go? 40. I'm gonna go with 25, I reckon. <laughs> 25. 25, that's what I guess, wasn't it? <laughs> 25 mile an hour, just as predicted. Right, next location. 